Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in with Said God's Wisdom for the final Wisdom Talk video of the year of 2020. This is episode 13 and we'll be discussing the energies of the Cancer Full Moon and the collective energies as we are in post of the Great Conjunction, okay? So don't forget to please like, subscribe, and share this channel and um, you know, let me know your experience, what's been going on for the past three weeks well for the past month with all the eclipses and um the great conjunction energies how have everything unfolded in your life you know feel free to comment below also make sure you um give a donation if you really appreciate the work i've been doing this whole year because like i said this is the last year my channel will be getting upgrades and i'm putting it out there right now that i'm claiming by the end of next year i will be at 20k subscribers thank you spirit ancestors for this journey for this year this year has been a tumultuous one a lot of ups and downs a lot of um dark moments a lot of positive moments a lot of um testing of faith for a lot of people but as you can tell you here right now watching this video so you have made it through the threshold okay you have made it through the void and we are uh, continuing our ascension journey through the dimensions to where we get back home to the some say fifth dimension i think it's a personal experience the earth is full of different dimensions you just have to connect to them okay and you can connect through meditation uh drugs a lot of different things you can connect uh the different dimensions through working with crystals um but yeah so we're gonna go ahead and get into the wisdom talk episode 13 for the cancer full moon so the first call we have to break down the images to give you a good visual is the cancer card i feel okay next we have cancer is a water element upside down triangle the symbol which deal with sensing water elements and water signs deal with sensing something underneath so like a, a lower dimension we got to go low to feel you gotta you know it, it take it at a different angle water signs and the ruling planet of cancer is the moon the soul so what is your moon sign you know uh, some people have the uh, natal moon in a chart cancer not everybody has that luck okay you know everybody have different moon signs and the house that cancer and the moon rules in the native chart is the fourth house the roots so where are you coming from the female energy of your bloodline the mother energy the divine feminine of your bloodline where are you coming from and that's the main thing throughout all the aspects i look through everything the information i got the meditation i had the visions i had everything has come to completion there were you know there were full moons are full moons are completion opposition between the sun and the moon like a tug of war there were oppositions are there were all full moons are they deal with completions um reaping balance awareness things that come up into your um consciousness for you to face again the moon is full full of light okay but like i say this is a healing time this is cancer deal with nurturing how are you nurturing yourself how are you nurturing to others how were you nurtured okay the um the energies of this full moon deal with healing the inner feminine feminine in you your inner divine feminine because you know we all divine no matter what level we own there's no you know we all part of the tree but again go back to this picture look how beautiful we all part of the tree but everybody not on the same branch Everybody not don't have the same leaf. We are all on different levels. We are all on different walks. We're all on different journeys. Okay, the path is different. Maybe similar to some, because you know you cross paths with kindred spirits and souls and you know soul family, soulmates. Then you got your karmics. Well, they're similar frequency, but not so much similar frequency. They might be coming from a different tree, and they're not to be meant to be on your tree. Or you put a person you meant to be, uh, meet and crossing, and you like that person, and it just, you know, oh, I just can't get enough. That's that Pluto energy, that toxic um, possession energy. We all have Pluto somewhere in our chart too, and it deal with um, you just can't get enough of the person. It's like a drug, the love energy, like a drug, an addiction to that person. So that is like a karmic. You know, something you were supposed to learn a lesson from and something you're not supposed to hold on to. Okay. 
But again, they deal with lack of nurturing, lack of awareness, and that was this full moon cancer is bringing in. Also, completion of the uh, I feel it's not dealing with any eclipse energy, but I, right currently, but I feel from the intuition I have received, it deal with um, closing out of the past eclipses that were in cancer this year, last year, prior. Okay, so. I feel like this full moon is making that a complete, like the final test. Because like I said, we have some harsh aspects. And you remember, my people, my wisdom lights aspects are conversations. So make sure you get your, I forgot to say, get your pen and paper out. Remember, take your notes, get this free wisdom why it's being given to you, okay? Also, don't forget to share this video with um, a kinder spirit, you know. Keep this energy sacred. It's not meant for everybody to know or come across. Okay, but like I say, I was tribe will be getting growing bigger. If you're not already following me on Instagram, because like I say, my energy of that the great conjunction is square my second house of personal things and my my things I have my stuff. So with the square for the next year, gonna push me to grow. Okay, so my business and my um my platform will be growing. In a big way, Jupiter squaring this. So it's going to be in a big way. I can't wait. I'm so excited. And like I said, I'm taking it along. And I won't forget all the people that have supported me thus far. Like I said, if you want to leave a donation, the cash up link is in the box. The description box below. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate y'all. Y'all been with me for a year, another year, you know. So, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So, let's see. Like I say, full moons deal with, again, a completion, a reaping, a revolution, a re not a revolution, a re a reevaluation of your inner world with this completion, okay? We have some bad aspects to Chiron, and we got Uranus is the only planet giving good aspects to the moon and the sun through a trine and sextile. So you're going to get your nurturing through this cancer energy like in a weird way or you know you rain you rule so social media you might find something that sparks your interest like a um, self-help page or some quotes or inspirational quotes and things off of uh, social media or some of a funny video some type of weird way of nurturing yourself through social media okay uh, or somewhere on the internet okay oh uh, let's see what else the full moon is squaring Chiron. The sun and moon is in the T-square with Chiron. Remember, T-squares is like this. It's like a, a T-square. It's supposed to be a full rectangle, full box. But the, there's no planet in that mix, mix, missing box. So the other three planets are in a tight, like, a, a double team, if you will. Like, one energy. Like, you already see the sun and moon in opposition. But you got a third party over here, Chiron. Is going back and forth with both of them too. Like y'all need to stop. Per basically, a person is trying to break it up. So you got the person trying to break it up, and you got the two that's trying to fight and going back and forth. But so happened, the person trying to break it up get punched too. So this Kyron is not uh, feeling too well of trying to break it up anymore. So he's gonna make you heal. Kyron deals with the wounded warrior, but again through this healing, you gain wisdom. You gain uh, you gain lifelong experiences like Chiron energy Chiron wounds stick with you okay same with Pluto Pluto energy stick with you it evolves you but again Chiron is in Aries so it's all about the self healing the self how you were and were not nurtured how are you um nurturing yourself now and where are you going forward to nurture others okay because Chiron has to teach Chiron is the teacher the great teacher to the gods okay and uh, he's going to be in Aries for the next five years. So it's a lot of healing of the self in the Aries energy. Thank God, because a lot of Aries can be toxic with their rage. But uh, yeah, healing of the Aries energy and the energy of the self. Okay, Cancer also deal with the past. Past experience, past turmoil, past unhealed childhood wounds are coming up again. Unhealed divine feminine wounds, nurturing the roots, your ancestors. It's a, a coming to a completion. It's like the ancestors, like I talked about this in my cancer video over the summer. Enough is enough. It's time to face and respect the ancestors. If you're not uh, respecting ancestors, you're going to get more of bad karma. These squares deal with bad karma being faced. That's why the harsh situations are coming your way. Okay, tough situations, harbor experiences to help you grow and put you back on track and faith toward the cancer energy, the mother energy, divine feminine energy, the ancestors energy, okay? Now, again, if you have been doing your work, if you have been following me since the summer, um, if you have been, you know, taking notes since the summer, you've been doing the work 
and paying homage to burning your ancestor and doing things to pay homage to the ancestors, getting their good favor and their graces. Um, you should be able to um, withstand whatever blow come your way with this with these squares with Karen, the sun, and the moon. Okay. Uh, also, how y'all doing out there with the final Aries squares? All the Capricorn energy. So happy this over with. Um, this final trend, heart intense transformation around the ego because Mars deal with being in the ego energy or uh, wanting to fight or war. So, where is Aries in your chart? Where is Cancer at in your chart? Okay. Uh, let's see. I think that's it, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and go into the um, you know how we do self conscious homework. The last little bit of homework, how are y'all vision boards and different things going? Like I say, it's not a good time to manifest in the sense of because somebody had asked me about some questions about manifest. I'm like, if you gotta get a new apartment, if you have to get a new car, if you have to get certain things that you have you have to get for your journey, get it. Yeah, it has squares going on with the energy right now, but again, whatever happened, whatever you get right now is gonna teach you a lesson down the road. Okay, but you if you have to get certain things, please do not stop getting going after the job, going after their apartment, going after whatever you want. You know, don't stop. Just be this any these warnings I'm giving are just to help you become more aware and knowing when have discernment when certain things come your way because certain things might not be meant for you. If it's coming your way quick, fast and hurry, not giving you full details, Virgo energy details, you know, then it might not be for you, you know. It's all about discernment, discernment, discernment. But if you have to take it, if the, if that's your last meal or that's your only way to make money, you have to get that new job right now doing these squares. You just got to get it. Just know with, with this new job, it's going to come obstacles, battles, and different things you have to face. Okay? That's all it is. Just facing some stuff that's hard right now. That's the squares. That's the energy right now. So if you manifest and start something new right now, just know you have to work at it, better it, mature that energy. Squares, they're maturing your butt. Okay? Uh, let's see. Talk about the uh, some situation. And no, you guys, you know, this energy will pass. You know, this too shall pass. Don't ever lose faith, trust, you know, have a connection to God. Do you have a connection to God? Do you have the connection to the divine feminine on the inside of you? Do you have a connection to your ancestors? If you don't, like I say, book a session with me, I can get you on track. Uh, we could do a consultation. I can um, enlighten you on certain things. Certain things I do to give homage to the ancestors. Certain days of the week you're supposed to give homage to the ancestors. Knowing your energy, what day you was born. Knowing the days of the week so they, from the gods and the goddess standpoint to give the blessing and favor on what you're doing. So it's a lot of, it's, a, it's layers to everything. It's layers to get in heaven. It's layers to come down here. It's layers to get married. Layers for a relationship. Just everything has layers. Even spirituality. But just in the gist of magic and spirituality, it's all about trusting your intuition, tuning that intuition up. Now, some people, I can't say, because everybody not built the same. You have your nature chart, I have mine. Everybody have different nature charts. Everybody not wired the same. So, some people's intuition flows easily, and then some have um, squares where they get, um, or transit, that trigger that square or that trying in a chart to push them to tune up their intuition. And then some people, have may have Saturn conjunct the intuition planets and can't even do nothing until later, later, later on in life. Okay, so it's all about who do the work, who don't, who get triggered to do the work, who get triggered and don't do the work. You see what I'm saying? Because people always come like, oh, I had that experience too. But girl, it's like you come across somebody y'all walking like again similar paths, going through the same circumstances, but that person is still kind of toxic. You know, they're not vibrating from their heart. So it's all about again trusting yourself doing your work and um staying in alignment with you your journey your spirit guys focus on you you only can help up another person as so much as far as their consciousness and awareness will allow okay so let's get into the subconscious homework okay so first question is oh yeah question yeah okay ready how do you feel from this year experiences how do you feel from this year's experiences? Okay. And that question is really to help you give yourself a self-check. 
Like, are you okay with the, the, your world, your reality you're living in, okay? That's question number one, okay? How do you feel from this year's experiences, okay? Second, second question. What dislikes and likes you learned about yourself from quarantine this year? What dislikes and likes you learned about yourself from quarantine this year? What dislikes and likes you learned about yourself from quarantine this year? Question number three. What are your spiritual gifts? What are your spiritual gifts? Do you have any clairs? That's clairvoyant, clairsentient, all the clairs. You can Google them, the different spiritual gifts. Are you an empath? What type of witch are you? A warlock, a wizard? You know, what element? Do you have a lot of fire in your chart? Do you know your element from your zodiac signs? Your sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mercury, and Mars. Do you know El Jupiter? Do you know the elements of who you are? You know, what type of elements are you? Fire, air, water, earth. Okay. Are you a chief fighter? Can you are you a healer? You know, are you a root worker? Do you are you good with herbs and healing and different things? You know, what are your spiritual gifts? Okay, question number four. Have you fully understood your mother energy within? Have you fully understood your mother energy within? Cancer. Okay, I'm whispering cancer to give you a subconscious bleepy about cancer deal with nurturing, cancer deal with the divine feminine, cancer deal with the ancestors, the feminine energy. Have you fully understood your mother energy within? Yes or no? Okay. And then if it's a no, why not? You know, go deeper, okay? Question number five. What house cancer rules for you in your natal chart? What house cancer rules for you in your natal chart? What house cancer rules for you in your natal chart? And that's to give you insight, you know, of what area of life that cancer, this cancer full moon is going to be highlighting and pushing you to heal, pushing you to face, pushing you to complete right now for this time, this moment in time, okay? Like I said, I thank you for being here. I appreciate you so much for being here this whole year with me if you've been here this long. Also for the newcomers, I appreciate everyone for tuning in, sharing, liking, and supporting I appreciate y'all so much. So, 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 so much. I love each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart, from the top of my heart, from all sides, north, west, south, east, all of it. I love you for giving your time, giving me your attention, because you don't have to. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And remember, say a prayer for me. You know, say a prayer and, you know, say... Or you can leave a comment too. Say, say, you know, you're going to get your 20K. I'm claiming it for next year goal to blow up. Because like I said, I'm going to take care of my tribe. And the next goal is to have my spiritual healing store. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. Be blessed on your journeys. And happy holidays. I'm sorry. Oh, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Kwanzaa. Everything. I love y'all. Be blessed and stay safe.